Hi, this is a tutorial for, uh, for RubyCube 4x4 F3 method part 1. Uh, this is a different solving method that most people use. Um, some people may not like it. Uh, let me tell you how to solve this, use this method. First, we solve the four pieces, uh, centerpiece. Then we sort, uh, solve the eight, uh, two center piece plus one edge piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then two edge piece plus one corner piece. Four of them. Okay. First, I choose um, red to be my first face. Here, I go here. And now red is solved. At this moment, I see two blue here and the uh, edge here. So I do this movement, and now I have this solved. Um, since blue is here on top, and I find blue here, so first I merge this two, two blue, and then I find the blue edge in here. So what I do is, I hope you can see it, and now three, and like uh, F2L, you put the your primary face downwards and now when I see turn this way I see this three piece and actually there's one uh, good white on top and we know white is on the other side so when I do this turn and I have matched this one and I do now I have this okay so I turn this way you see the three piece solved while I'm doing that one, I've, I notice this top uh, yellow. And if I turn this, one, two, three, and yellow is soft. OK. Um, this two piece together, and I just turn this. OK, match it, and turn. 180 degrees. So this is solved. Um, you, this is F3. You, you make two pieces and match the third one. So this one, this one, and this one here. We first match two, three, uh, two, uh, two, one. Then match the third one, and it's done. So we've seen this two is connected and now the other one is on this side so you do one two three and they are aligned and one two three so now you see this is the last one here okay one two three everything's on top one two three and now you have seen I've solved one, two, three, four, eight, six, seven, eight. And now I'm going to solve the um, corner plus two edges. Here I've seen this two is already connected. And the, the other one is in here. So since this is the beginning, I can do like we do F12 and this is solved. And I can just borrow this corner, and this will be solved. Now, this time you see this corner plus this edge is connected, and the other one is here. So what I did is, okay, one, two, three, and move to in this position. Now one, two, three, and now this is mostly used in 
solving the corner and edge piece is putting the three piece in this kind of position okay and you do and this three piece is solved now you see this 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 three and we can do this time I'm I'm not going to borrow this edge even uh, I can do it but I will show you I, first I, I put two here and one here now if I left turn up and there are the three piece in that position I can solve it so now last uh, corner here is one two three match two and this is the one in here they do not if this piece is here we can use the simple one but this one we put in here and so this is solved okay I'm going to do one demonstration of how the first three layer can be solved First, I solve two, and when you do the centerpiece, try to match as many other color pencils in the piece as well. So like here, we have uh, blue and yellow connected, and we uh, green here. So, and let's do this first. Um, time we solve two at a time so two green solved and let's see white so white is solved and I see two two here so sorry uh, I'm holding camera wrong Okay, so now we have four solved. This is solved. This is solved. This is solved. And this two and yellow here. Oh. We're lucky here. After we solve this one, this in the position, I believe everybody knows F2L will solve. Bam, bam, bam. And this one, match first two. Third one in this position, perfect. Put it back. So this three layer is solved.